eastern Canada contains a vast swath of several billion year old layers of volcanic rock. Because much of the landscape is so old, many ancient features such as impact craters are well preserved. As an example, the two closely spaced Clearwater craters which formed more than 100 million years apart. Or, the 100 km wide Manicouagan Reservoir Crater visible from satellite due to its massive circular impression. However, there is another crater which is more than twice its size. Although not easily visible, there is a 250 km or 155 mile wide crater located just north of the town of Sudbury. The ancient formation of this crater is associated with an area that is today now one of the most mineral rich areas in all of Canada containing elements such as nickel and platinum. This video will discuss this ancient impact structure and when it formed. Approximately 1.85 billion years ago, a large comet was on a collision course with Earth. This comet originated from the outer reaches of the solar system in a section of icy material known as the Oort Cloud. The comet in question measured 28 kilometers or 17 miles wide whose trajectory made it cross paths with the orbit of several planets. As it approached the inner solar system, it continued to accelerate due to the pull of the sun. Once it crossed the orbit of Mars, a magnificent plume known as a tail would become visible for all to see. Of course, at the time, the most complex life forms on Earth were simply a layered colony of cyanobacteria known as a stromatolite. As it approached Earth, it soon became brighter than a full moon. Eventually, it entered Earth's upper atmosphere at a speed of 51 kilometers per second or 114,000 miles per hour. Only two seconds later, this comet impacted the surface generating a massive explosion equivalent in energy to the detonation of 776 million megatons of TNT. As this occurred, the ground in an 1800km radius ignited if there was anything capable of burning due to the intense thermal radiation. Just so you can understand how catastrophic this impact was, suppose you were at a location about as far away from Sudbury as what is now Washington DC. Not only would you burst into flame due to the impact, you would be killed due to the 2100 mile per hour or 3400km per hour shockwave. If you somehow survived, everything around you will be buried by 3.5 meters or 11.5 feet of superheated ash and rock fragments. At the epicenter of this impact, the explosion instantaneously carved more than 25 kilometers deep into the crust, quickly transforming a large section of material into molten rock. Material from the lower mantle soon intruded into this pool of molten rock, carrying with it large quantities of elements not typically found at high concentrations within the crust. This included elements such as nickel, copper, gold, platinum, and palladium. These elements would later go on to cool as many unusual minerals such as nickel-rich pentlandite and copper-rich cubonite. Today, the area is still extensively mined and has to date, although adjusted for inflation, produced $500 billion worth of rare metals. If not for this ancient impact, many people would not have jobs and many nearby cities would not exist. In many current geologic maps, you might see this crater mapped as a long oval. The reason for this is that the central ring of this crater, which was once circular, has since been compressed and deformed over more than a billion years, creating its present shape. What remains today merely represents a fraction of its original size. I hope that you enjoyed this video. 